Welcome to the Missouri Star Quilt Company's Beginner Block Series. Today we have a really special treat for you. We're going to do a tutorial on the Dresden Plate. This is a new ruler, as seen here. It's called Easy Dresden by Darlene Zimmerman. Really a fun Dresden. Never in my life did I dream I would ever do a Dresden Plate. But here's the proof right here. This is a really fun block, so let's get started. First, we're going to use a charm pack and because everything blends, as you know, and everything goes together. And this is a Hello Betty charm pack. It is a lot bigger than most of the charm packs. The line of fabrics has 60 fabrics in it, and so there are 60 squares in here. You need, you need 20 blades to make a Dresden. And out of each 5-inch square, which we've chosen here, you can make two blades, and I'll show you how. So follow me down to the mat and we'll cut these charm squares into blades. Here we go. So we put our five inches, because the charm pack square is five inches tall, so we put our charm, our ruler right on the side and the five inch line and we cut, we cut right along here. Then we're going to flip our ruler and we're going to do one more blade so you can get two blades out of one square and what you end up with is this right here. So now we have this little dressed and plate blade and you'll need 20 of these. And what you're going to do, this is the magical part, you're going to fold this over onto itself and you're going to stitch straight across here. And so what you end up with is this right here. Now this is hand stitched but if you chain piece them on the sewing machine I'm telling you you can whip these out like crazy. So then we're going to flip this and look at this little present. It makes its own casing so there's no turning under. Then what you do is you're going to attach these together. So you put them right sides together. Well actually first we should press these. So when you go to press these you want to make sure that this seam is lined up in the middle. You're going to put your iron right down on top and press it. Press both of those and then when you attach them together you're just going to line them up like this and sew your quarter of an inch seam right along here. What you end up with as you're putting them together is this. So you see how this is seamed right here, quarter inch, and it just lays over. You can press the entire thing and you have a lovely dressed in plate. So we need to add a couple more in here to finish this and I think we'll do that right now. Okay, so here we are with our pieces right side together and we're going to place this right under the sewing machine. We're going to sew from the top to the bottom so that any difference in height, which there should be very minimal if any, will be at the bottom. Alright, so we're going to sew from this top, quarter of an inch in, straight down. That gives us one more Dresden on our blade and we need 20, so let's see. I believe we need one more. And we have this lovely little pink one will pop in here. Line up your points, sew a quarter of an inch in. And then we will sew them together to complete the plate, making sure that your right sides are facing each other. We'll sew our last little seam. There we go. And we have a completed dressed in plate except for the center circle, which I'm going to show you some tricks on right now. Okay, we're going to press this nice and flat. And I've what I have done here is cut a 14 inch square of muslin. You can actually use any square. This will become your block if you're making a quilt. Um, and I have had a couple other ideas of things to do. If you did a long block you could put a stem on here and wouldn't this make a darling flower for a little wall hanging. Uh, you can also put them together a table runner but right now we're going to concentrate on this middle square. Inside this dressed in plate pattern there is a template, a circle template for the center. Now this is, the, this is a copy of the circle template that I cut out of the cardboard on the back of the Hello Betty pack. And so that's real handy to make a little template for. Now what, if, if by chance this didn't fit, 
you could make a template out of a measuring cup or a bowl or something that was just a little bigger, really whatever size you want your center circle to be. So let's go ahead and make that center circle. Come over here. So for the center square, we'll pick a charm square and we're going to put our cardboard template that we cut out on it and we're going to lightly tra trace a line around it. And then when we cut that out, we're going to cut that out just a bigger, just a quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch bigger. And so we cut that out all the way around. There you go. All right, now we've got to get a needle and thread. Okay, now we're going to take our needle and thread, and it doesn't matter what color, because basically what we're doing is the same little running stitch, large running stitch actually, that you would do if you were going to make a yo-yo. And so we're going around our fabric, around our circle, just that in and out running stitch that's so familiar, because we're going to gather it up. Okay, here we are finishing up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this cardboard in here. Just slide it in like this. And anytime you need a perfect circle for any project that you're making, applique or anything, you can use anything that is round. And you're just going to pull that thread. And do you see how it makes that perfectly round little square? And what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the ironing board. Okay, here we are at the ironing board. And we are going to just press this. And because that's cardboard, we can just press it. So you just press the heck out of this thing and make it a nice flat circle. And then you're just going to slide your cardboard out. And you can lay that circle right on top of your Dresden. And you have a perfect little center. Isn't that a nice little trick? You can do that with uh, I do it when I need to make little circles. I do it on quarters, on nickels, on washers. They make all kinds of things. But it needs to be something that you can heat with that iron. So you just press that on there. Well, I, guess I shouldn't have slid that around so much. There we go. And then it just makes a nice little circle in the center of your Dresden. Okay, now this is our background square that we're going to attach our Dresden plate to. And to make it uh, fit and accurate, what I do, a little trick, is I fold my fabric in half. And then I fold it in half again. And I just press this corner right here so it makes a little X in the middle. Which you'll be able to perfectly center your Dresden plate on. So come over here. Okay, so now we're going to center up this Dresden plate gives you a good center spot. We'll put our circle on top and we're just going to pin this down so that uh, it stays intact so that we can stitch it on. You're going to use an applique stitch for this which is the same um, type of stitch that we use on the binding where it only shows on the you only see the little tip of it. Because these all have their own facing on them it uh, makes perfect points and it's perfect all the way around. All right, so we come up through the back and ride out that fold. Do you see the fold right there? We come right out that fold and I'm using thread that shows a little bit so you can see. And then you go straight down and you come up about a quarter of an inch later again through the fold. And you will do that all the way around. The stitches don't have to be, you don't have to be real careful or real accurate, um, especially if you're going to machine quilt on top of that. So here we go straight down and come out that, right on that fold, right on that edge line. And go straight down and come right out on that fold. There we go. Third time's the charm, right? So you're going to do that all the way around and then you'll stitch it around here. And what you end up with is a stitch pattern kind of like this. Doesn't have to be real tight, doesn't have to be real careful, but the results are quite impressive. So there's your little Dresden plate. So this is an example of a finished Dresden plate project. This is a table runner or wall hanging. 
with three Dresden plates on it. Each one has 20 blades and the center circle. We have attached them by hand and then machine quilted over the entire thing to give it this finished elegant look. It really is a pretty project, perfect for the beginner or intermediate sewer, perfect for somebody who likes to sit and have hand things to do. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Happy quilting. Mm -hmm.